In this P Cloud review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about P Cloud. If you have any questions, please let them know in the comments below. And also, I'll be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can get your money's worth for P Cloud. P Cloud is an online storage platform. This is what you'll see once you've logged in. Straight off the bat, P Cloud is very simplistic and there's not too much going on here. As you can see, there's a lot of white space down here and there's not really too much going on in, in the middle either. Up in the top left, you've got the P Cloud logo where if you hover over it, you can see you can actually click onto this section to go back to the P Cloud dashboard. Over in the top left, you've got the P Cloud logo and if you hover over it, you can see you can actually click on this to go back to the P Cloud dashboard. Along that banner, you've also got the download button. This is where you can download the P Cloud software if you don't want to use the web version and you wanted it straight on your PC or laptop. To the right of that, you've got the pricing section. This is where you can see the prices for this software. And then to the right of that, this is where you have different passes for this software. To the right of that bit, you also have a notification section. This is where you can get and receive any notifications for P Cloud and you can check them out right here. And then finally, you also have an account management section where if you click on that, you'll be able to see all of your settings. You can change your language. You also have a help section and a contact section. And if you want to log out of this account, you can do so right here. Now, coming off that bit, we're going to go straight onto the actual main part of P Cloud. Now, P Cloud is mainly used for storing any of your files in a cloud. This is so you can actually access any of these files from anywhere and on any device as long as you log in using the right details. Right here, all the way to the left, you've got your files section. This is where it shows your main files. And then below that, we've got the browse section, public section, rewind, or trash. So straight on here already, we are on the browse section. As you can see, you can see any files that you have here. If you were to have music or pictures or videos, you can see these right here. Once you actually log into P Cloud for the first time, it does already have some files in there for you just to kind of show you what type of things you can store in P Cloud. So if we were to go and click on the My Music section, just like this, you can see there is music in there. And again, you can access this from any device and any area as long as you have the right account details. Going back to the browse section, you can see that we've just been on the My Music bit. And now we'll go on to the My Pictures bit just to see what's in there as well. Going on to the My Pictures, you can see that there is pictures in here and they're all stored safely within P Cloud. Finally, there is also a My Videos section and there is a P Cloud video as well, where if you click on that, you can receive that video. Finally, at the bottom, there is also a P Cloud PDF in case you want to know how to get started with P Cloud in better detail. As we're hovering over these, if you would notice to the right, you can actually share any of these files through a link or even an invite folder. This is good in case you want to share any files to your friends or family or any work partners. You can do so here with ease. All the way above this, you also have an upload button right here. This is for you to upload any files, videos or music that you would want. To the right of that, you also have a new folder section. If you don't want any of these folders like the music, the pictures or the videos, you can go here and click new folder and it should open up this section. Now you want to go ahead and name this whatever you want. I just went ahead and quickly named it review folder. So now you can click open after creation if you want it to open as soon as you click create. And then you'd go to this button and click create. There you go. It should open up a new file for you to use. Finally, going back to the browse section, now you can see we do have our review folder here and it also has the share button in case I want to share it with anyone. Up here again to the right of that, you can also change the view of P Cloud. You can change it to a grid view, which personally I think looks better. Or if you go to the right of that, you can change the way files are formed. You can change them in ascending order, descending order, newest to the top or oldest to the top. You can always make sure to put the folders first as well in case you do have any images outside of folders. Back to the left of the file section, you can see there is a public section. If we are to click on that, you can see there is a public folder right here. However, you do have to pay $3.99 a month and you can successfully create folders that are available to the public. Right below this, there is a rewind section. So since we've clicked on that, you can actually revisit your account from up to 15 days ago. This is a really good feature on pCloud due to the fact that a lot of people either might accidentally delete files or have any corrupt files. Rewind helps you find and recover old version of your files. All you have to do is pick a date and time from the calendar from up to 15 days and you can actually find your files. Right below that, finally, there is a trash section. 
This is self-explanatory. You can actually trash any folders here and they do stay within the trash for up to 365 days unless you do want to go up to this red button up here and click empty trash. All the way back to the left, underneath the actual files section, there is a backup section. This can actually back up important folders from your computer in pCloud. This is again good in case you ever lose any files or any files are going to ever be corrupt. You can always back them up according to your PC and what you are logged into pCloud on. You can either change that from desktop to mobile or to any third party source like Google Photos, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox or Facebook. Another good feature about pCloud is that there is actually a crypto folder. Now, however, if you are into crypto, this is a good feature for you, but most people aren't really into crypto. So this page is pretty much self-explanatory. You can buy crypto or you can have a free trial. Moving on to the next section swiftly, there is also a shared folder section. So now that we've clicked on this share folder section, you can see you can either have links that are shared or any folders that are shared. Onto this main page, this is where you'd see if there are any linked items, how much traffic the linked items are getting, how many downloads you are getting, how many linked items are created and what the actions are. Right above that, you can actually change the branding on this button here. You can actually see the statistics and on this main blue button, you can get traffic towards your shared links. Right below that on pCloud to the left, you can see there is a folder section. This is pretty much the same thing. This is where you share your folders and you can see what folders are shared with you or what folders you've shared with other people. Now, this is a good feature on pCloud in case you've shared a lot of folders with family members or friends or even team members. You can actually keep track here of what is shared with you and what you've shared with other people. Moving back to the left, once again, there is a file request section. Now, this should be for when anyone has actually requested to see your files. In case you've shared with anyone, then any request would come through here. There's not much to explain about this other than you've got the folder that is shared, you've got the comment they've made, any traffic, any uploaded files, what's created, and what actions. As you can see here, we've got no data since we actually haven't had any file requests. On this section again, you can actually see there is a bookmark section. This is good for bookmarking any files or any links that you want within pCloud. There's not much to say about this, so we're gonna move down to the audio section next. Finally, this is the audio section. So within this section, you can actually see any audio files in detail for how they're saved. Whether you're a music producer, this is a really good feature on pCloud since you'll be able to manage it within devices. And as you can see up here, you can actually see the songs, the artists, the albums, or even the playlists. Right here, you can see we've got four different songs or four different audio files. If we were to move over to the artists, these songs don't actually have any artists, I assume. They also don't have any albums or any playlists. However, with this button on the playlist section, you can actually create your own playlist. So if we go ahead and click on that, it should open this section once again, and you can go ahead and name your playlist. So I just quickly went and titled it Review Playlist. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. Once you've created your playlist, it should appear right here in your playlist section. And if we were to move over back to the song section and go down to any of these audio files, if we were to click on this little box here, these options should appear above it. You can either choose to download this, play it, add it to a playlist or add it to a player. We're gonna go ahead and quickly add it to a playlist. And you can see that our review playlist has appeared and we can go ahead and add it to that by clicking this button right down here. And there you go, we should have added our song to that playlist now. So if we go back over to the playlist section, you can see review playlist has one song. So that's pretty much it for the audio file section of pCloud. Right below this, we have an invite friends section. And this is where you can actually invite friends to pCloud. By doing that, you can actually get one gigabyte each time and enter to win a 500 gigabyte space for a lifetime, which is pretty good. However, in order to send invite links, you do have to verify your email address. I have not yet done that. So it shouldn't appear with you if you have done that. Right below that, these are the terms down here. If you want to read through them to know the terms, you can. Overall, back to the main section, it is a pretty good software. pCloud can actually store files, store audio, and has a really easy to use interface. And there we go, that is the pCloud review. I think it has a really great amount of features on pCloud. There is a lot to use there, considering that it does look actually pretty empty as a software itself. Some of the features I actually enjoy is that you can actually easily add and download music and also add them to your own personalized playlists. Another feature I enjoy is that you can easily share it with team members or friends or family. And any files like that can easily be created and shared to other people. 
Again, like I've said, one thing I don't really like about P Cloud is that it does look a bit empty and it also does look a bit underwhelming. So as someone who was just looking for a good online cloud storage system, I would actually overlook this since it doesn't actually look like there's much going on to begin with. However, I would be mistaken since P Cloud has a lot going on for itself. A lot of cool features, a lot of cool ways to add things and remove things. And there's a lot of good things you can actually add onto it yourself if you do buy it. Would I recommend P Cloud to anyone? Absolutely would. I'd recommend it to myself. I'd recommend it to my friends and family. It seems like it is a really good, easy to use online storage software. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.